Hello and welcome to this video. Today I want to guide you through the steps needed to set up our MIDI Remote app with Digital Audio Workstation of your choice. In this video, I will demonstrate the setup using Mac OS X and Logic. The setup for other DAWs is similar. Please visit our website for detailed setup instructions. Our app is communicating with the DAW computer using a technology called Network MIDI. It is easy to set up and can be used with both Windows and Mac computers. On the Mac, we're going to use the Audio MIDI setup. It is located in Applications, Utilities. And double click to open. We need to see the MIDI window. If it isn't already open, as in my case here, click Window, Show MIDI Window and double click the network icon. To establish a connection between the host computer and our iPhone, we need a so-called network session. To create one, hit the plus button. Name it whatever you like. I will name it Mac Mini Remote, as this will be used to connect the remote with the Mac Mini I'm using as host. Also paste the name over to the Bonjour name field. Ok, we're almost done. Leave this window open for now and grab your iPhone. Open up the MIDI Remote app. Give it a few seconds to start up. You should now see a new item appear in the bottom part of the window. In my case here, it's Flo's iPhone. To establish the connection, select the name of your iPhone and hit the connect button. You should now see a new connection being added in the participants view on the right side of the window. Ok, the devices are now properly connected. Next, let's go over to Logic. Bring up the synchronization settings panel and switch over to the MIDI tab. We want to have a two-way connection between Logic and the MIDI remote for best operation. Thus, we enable both MIDI timecode and MIDI machine control send and receive. In the selection box for the MIDI timecode destination, we choose the network MIDI session we created in audio MIDI setup before. Ok, now we're all set up. We chose to make our MIDI remote app configuration free. For that reason you don't find selection boxes for the timecode rate to be used within the app. To let the app know which TC rate you're using in your particular project, you only have to scrub in your timeline or hit play in your DAW. The app will receive the timecode information and extract the correct timecode settings to use for you. Ok, that's it. Please be aware of that the network MIDI connection between the iPhone and the DAW host machine will be interrupted whenever the computer or the iPhone is shut down or the iPhone isn't available on the local network. The only thing you have to do then is to open up Audio MIDI Setup and re-establish the connection exactly as we did before.